second thing I noticed was that uh, after two or three days, I, I noticed that my hands started looking funny, kind of dark colored, and kind of like uh, automobile mechanic hands. They, they started getting stained up, and and that was due to uh, just continually getting smut on them. It, it doesn't wash off. It kind of goes right into your pores. I guess that guy just doesn't like to get dirty. That was sent to us by Greg Haggard, so thank you, Greg, for that. Thought it would be an interesting thing to put onto the fat R since I say at the end of my episode, stay dirty. I am Eric the Car Guy, your host for this week's Fat R, which is Fat R number 36. And, and for those of you who are not familiar with what Fat R means, it is Fridays at the Red Line. Kind of a clever acronym, I thought. So, welcome to the Fat R. A uh, couple of things I'd like to cover uh, right here off the bat. And if you notice behind me, there is the uh, 1986 Kenworth, which I'll post a video for on Monday so you can get a closer look at, at this beast that's in my shop which uh, seems to be uh, creating well, quite a few comments out there. This thing is awesome. Anyway, uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about is posting questions to the comments section of my website. I've noticed that some of you have been posting questions there. Know that there's no way for me to answer those questions in that comment section. It's just kind of there for comments. Say whatever you like there, but as far as asking car questions, I apologize, but I'm not gonna be able to uh, answer those questions. If you want your car questions answered, you can either check the search function up at the top of the page where you can type in a couple of keywords and you may come up with videos, forum threads, FAQs, uh, maybe even some parts and tools that are thrown in there as well. So uh, try that first and if you have no success there, then I suggest you go over to the last page on the website and post your question over at the ETCG forum. Um, and as a result, uh, you will get a much faster answer, and it's pretty much where I hang out and answer questions these days. That said, um, another thing, uh, for some reason on my YouTube page, the comment section there seems to be broken. It has been for, geez, I think maybe about a month, so if you've been posting questions there, it's not a question of a, a friend thing or whatever, it's just broken. It's just not working. Not sure why, how. I didn't touch anything, I didn't edit anything, it just stopped allowing comments to be posted on my YT page. So if you've been posting comments or questions there and I haven't been answering them, the reason is is because I just can't. Now let's get down to the meat and potatoes of the show, the whole reason why you watch this on your Friday, waste a little time instead of doing what you should be doing. As long as we're on the subject of big trucks and big things, why don't we start with a great big crankshaft. Now this crankshaft, I'm pretty sure it doesn't belong to one of these things. Uh, a giant diesel, maybe it's a locomotive, maybe it's a ship, I don't know. Take a look. Massive crankshaft. Yes, I know they make them bigger, but I've never seen one machined before. But thanks to Felix Buckinger for sending us that. Thanks, Felix. Uh, next, we move on to uh, something from one of my friends down under. This is from uh, Gray Fox. And this is a hill climb almost fail. Yeah, almost. I was, yeah, really butting my nails on that because I really didn't want to see that truck roll all the way down that hill. That would be a bad day for sure. And as long as we're on the subject of off-roading, this was sent to me by only a name, Robert. Uh, this ar extreme articulating vehicle has seven feet of travel. Seven feet. Amazing. Yeah, I've got some friends that do that kind of thing, and they've got these articulating contests. This thing would win the articulating contest hands down without a doubt. So next we move on to number five, which I didn't even put a number five on my, I put things on my list. I didn't put a number five, I have six. Ah, I've got a six. Got a six, skip right over five, moving on to six. This one I'm posting just cause I like. I, I love 71 Camaros. I love like 69, 71, 72 Camaros. Uh, 69, 70, 71 Camaros, that's actually what I should say. 69, 70, 71 Camaros. Always liked those cars. I mean, ever since I was a wee tot, love them cars. 
But uh, yeah, this is sent to me by uh, Jay, the guitar player, we'll call him that. Thanks for sending that, Jay. She's pretty. And now that we've seen what the Americans can do, why don't we check out what those Japanese are doing? This struck me as kind of odd, and, uh, well, I, I, don't, I don't quite get it, but, you know, to each their own. But uh, this was a really interesting Japanese car show, uh, and if you can figure out why they want eight-foot tailpipes on the back of their cars, more power to you. But uh, here's a Japanese car show parade. And that was sent to us by none other than Honda Slave. Thank you for that. Now I want to end the show with some funny. And what I have for you that's funny starts with this. As a technician, sometimes you do funny things. In fact, in the past I showed the one about the, well, this wasn't necessarily funny, about the people that played a prank on one of their coworkers by putting, making him sit on an airbag and setting it off. Don't approve of that. But this, this Eric the Car Guy approves of because it shows some, some forethought. And, uh, sorry, but the new guy's got to go through some kind of hazing. So this is a uh, brake light prank. What does it mean when you step on your brake and it hogs the horn? You got to drive it a little bit. It'll probably reset. Yeah. yeah. Just, you're driving down the driveway a little bit. He just blew off for kids. He just said he blew his ass out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was funny. And that was sent to us by Daniel Valdez. So thank you, Daniel, for that, that laugh that's there. Now, uh, this was sent to me by uh, somebody that helped me move, Jeff Simpkins. And I am in love with this old gal. I, she is just completely and totally awesome. Um, and this was in a New York, New York Times article, I believe, that, that he sent to me a video article about a 101-year-old lady who drives. My name is Margaret Dunning, and I live in Plymouth, Michigan. And I am a little older than some of you people. I'm 101 years old, and I'm still driving the Packard that I would like to introduce to you, a 1930 straight 8, 740 Packard. She is awesome. Totally awesome. If I wasn't married, I'd date her. Come on, she drives a Packard. Next up, we have something sent to me by Dad. Of course, Dad's got to throw in his contribution, but I figured as long as we're talking about old ladies, uh, I'm going to give you this ad, and many of you may have seen it, but uh, this ad is from Mrs. for Mrs. Max Beef Pies. If it don't, it don't fold it. Cause you'll make your mama mad If it don't fit, don't fold it Cause you'll only get in bed Yeah, I'm not even gonna tell you where that's going. You're gonna have to go and, and see that one for yourself. And guess what? That wraps up. That wraps up Fat R number 36. I hope you've enjoyed this little distraction from your day and uh, brought a smile to your face. That's the way I want to leave you today. I want to leave you smiling today because 
let's just have fun, why don't we? I am Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Beginning of the program, I told you uh, where and how to ask your automotive questions. If you would like to make submissions to the Fat R, um, send them to Eric at ericthecarguy.com. Put Fat R in the subject line. They go into their own special folder and I go through them. Know that uh, I'm not going to respond to those emails. I'm just going to view those videos. It's like yesterday I spent a couple of hours going through submissions. So don't expect me to respond, but I am going to view them and who knows, you might just get your name featured right here for all your friends to see and family. Enemies too. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty.